Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going today? I'm the Digital Ham, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about something I've been up to as of lately. Um, one, uh, I have been in the process of taking a super old computer back from about 2008 and completely trying to get it to the point where I can play video games on it. Um, given the fact that the computer that I bought, which was probably about two and a half years ago now, is just a run-of-the-mill pre-built model that is very, very subpar, meaning it doesn't do any one thing good. The only thing that it does good, in my opinion, is probably watch YouTube videos and check emails. And that really limitates, uh, really limits me on what I can do as far as, for one, editing my videos, for two, putting different kind of content out there. I'd really like to get into some gaming and stuff. So the, the, the computer that is being updated to a degree um, is actually uh, this computer right here, which is an Alienware. Uh, instead of it being an Area 51 ALX, uh, it is actually the one that I have is 7500. But this right here is exactly what it looks like. It's a 7500. Um, the one that I had the one that I have right now does have an Asus motherboard in it. It is a oh, M3 Alpha 3.2 MVP Deluxe or Deluxe MVP. Um, and that is a super, super, super old motherboard. Um, the, the actual processor it came with was an AMD uh, I'm trying to remember what series it was, but it was a dual core processor, 2.6 gigahertz. It could be overclocked to like 2.8 to 3 gigahertz. So um, as far as the processor, the processor, or excuse me, the GPU, GPU is a NVIDIA uh, 9600 GT. So we're talking some old old stuff so part of the problem is is you know what can i update how far can i go afford uh and and updated and am i going to see any difference between you know the limitations of what i can put in there and what's already in there so uh we'll first start off with the gpu or excuse me the cpu so i took that dual cord out and i had this one right here which you might have a hard time reading that, but that is a Phenom 2 X4, and this is an 820. So this is um, out of the box, this will do 2.8 gigahertz, just stock, um, not overclocking it. You can overclock it, I think to the highest you could probably get is maybe like 3.2 possibly. Um, but I went ahead and spent a little bit of money, like less than 50 bucks, and went ahead and bought myself a Phenom 2 X4 955 uh, Black Edition. That runs at a average <clears throat> or out of the box of 3.2 gigahertz and can be overclocked to 4.0 gigahertz. Now, what I'm doing, and you'll probably see this tab. Wait a minute, I'm sorry, wrong one. You'll probably see this tab right here. <laughs> this is how to, <laughs> how to overclock your GPU. That's what I'm currently working on right now. So, like I said, stock 3.2 gigahertz, non-stock with the overclocked, which this has all cores unlocked because it is a black edition. It is made for overclocking. Everybody's telling me, from what I'm seeing on the internet, 4.1 would probably be the maximum. 4.0 is a sustainable uh, speed um, and also a sustainable heat where, where it's not going to overheat. So I'm going to try to obtain that. Now, I want to show you guys this. I'm not going to do this right now because it is absolutely pointless to do it. Um, I'm using up a absolute crap ton of my CPU power. I don't know why I'm not finding it. Where is it? Here he is. So right here is Cinebench. Uh, let's see if I can run. Actually, 
actually. I don't know why it's not letting me install Cinebench. Let's extract all. See, that's really bizarre. Oh, there it is. So, right here. Um, hopefully this brings it up. So, on Cinebench, you'll see right here. Oh, this is really cool that it, it saved it. You'll see that my current 9 point, or 955 is registering at a 306 right here. Okay? That's at stock 3.21 gigahertz. Um, so I'm going to go in and do the process of trying to, um, reset this and, and try to get a better, um, better specs out of it. I, I want to try to see if I can reach four, 4.0, um, at least 4.0, but I want it to be you know, sustainable and not, uh, to the point where it's going to crash all the time. So there it is. Um, so what you're going to see next uh, is you're going to see me come back and I'm going to show you the Cinebench score once I have gone through the entire process. Now, I would bring you guys along with me, but that would entail me actually physically, you know, copying and filming everything third person uh, instead of using my capture software OBS. And unfortunately, I'm going to be concentrating on this. I don't want to be concentrating on filming and doing the overclocking but there it is guys we're going to see what's going to happen hopefully we can obtain a 4.0 overclock um, i do have as, as of the time that that uh, amd processor was released i do have a equivalent uh thermal take um heat sink so Hopefully the heat sink on it and the fan, which is a 75 CFM fan, will be able to give it enough cooling that I don't have to worry about overheating it and, you know, running the risk of boot looping or, you know, blue screening. But we're going to take it nice and slow and hopefully we're going to come up with a result that is uh, going to be justifiable. Um, I bought this 955. So that's the, specifically the black edition. So I could overclock it and get that 4.0 uh, gigahertz that I really desire, which is quite a bit from 4.2 or 3.2. So, all right, guys, we'll see you guys here in just a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. We are back with the final results. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my monitoring system. Uh, which allows me to monitor everything that's going on my PC <clears throat> from voltage to you name it it's pretty much showing it in here now what I want to draw your attention to is right here okay now what I'm using is I'm using Cinebench uh, R15 okay and what you saw at the highest peak and the highest uh, run heat wise um, on my CPU uh, during the Cinebench run with this program open was 69.5 Celsius so just to give you guys an idea I know that I kind of like looking at it in Celsius because whenever you go on your guides and stuff like that a lot of the times they tell you well it's just easier to talk in Celsius than it is in degrees but in Fahrenheit it's 157 degrees I, I think it's a little hot. Um, I should be well below the uh, 160 mark, but I, I mean, I, I probably with with fidgeting around, I probably can get it a little bit better. Here's here's the thing that the, the conclusion I draw. I can push this the CPU a lot harder. Um, I could probably I was running it at 3.8. Uh, when it decided that it didn't it cashed out but if I had a little bit better of a cooler CPU cooler and sync on there I probably could get this well below or well above uh, 4.0 or at least to 4.0 um, but and I could maintain roughly around like a 61 62 temp I believe but I do not think that with the setup I have, I'm, I'm going to be able to attain 4.0. I, 
absolutely not. I'm running at 3.7 right now, uh, 3.7. So let's pull up the Cinebench here. So here we are, we're in Cinebench. I just wanna let you guys know, these two prior runs here, you can see that it's actually at 3.62, 3.21, which is the just average. And I I did one right before we, we got off and it was like 305. So I've jumped quite a few points. I'm at 350, I still haven't even broke 400. I don't, I don't really care for that. I, I really like to be above uh, a uh, 400. Um, but you know, given given what we're talking about, this is what you can expect. 3.72. I'm running 1.5 uh, volts, um, so I, I'm not I'm not trying to overtax the system too much. Now I did run this um, this Cinebench though with my monitoring software. Okay, so that is putting a tax on the CPU. So if I ran it with that. Uh, I, I probably could obtain just a little bit better of a score. But my thing is, is monitoring this number right here, which is the total uh, heat of the CPU, the, the total um, temperature of the CPU. <clears throat> so there it is, overclocked, an old school Phenom 2 X4 955 Black Edition. Um, and do I think I can get higher? Pro Most likely I can. Um, I think I could probably get it a little bit higher, but um, there's going to be a couple things I'm going to have to do. Uh, there's also limitations, I feel, uh, to a degree. Well, not really with the GPU, but, you know, the GPU is kind of holding me back. So I'm putting a lot of expectation on the processor where the GPU is super, super old. And it needs to be upgraded as well. So once I get those two things taken care of, I think I'll be able to do a lot more with this computer. As of right now, though, it is kind of hitting a brick wall where gaming wise, um, I get a lot of frame frame drop. Um, <clears throat> the game Outlast, I played that and I kept on dropping frames quite, quite extensively. Um, and I'm not really 100% sure of what is causing that, but I think uh, a new GPU along with, paired with this 955 overclock at 3.7, um, I think that's a good in between the two. Um, maybe upgrade the cooler. Um, and so <clears throat> I have a computer that is from 2008, but actually is pretty powerful for what it is right now. Um, given a better GPU, it'll be even more obtainable, but then I'll always run into that issue of, okay, well, your, your RAM is not sufficient. You know, you're only, well, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to have eight gigs, but, um, it, it just, a lot of things, you know, VRAM, stuff like that is where I'm going to have to put a lot of money into, uh, having a GPU with a lot of VRAM because then it will make up for the fact that I've only got eight gigs of DDR2. <laughs> So anyways, that's it guys. I appreciate you guys having my, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any, uh, comments, suggestions, anything you want to add to the discussion, please let me know in the comment section down below. As always, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If this was helpful, like comment and subscribe. Appreciate it. As always, make sure you hit the bell for notifications. That way, whenever I post a video, whenever that may be, you'll get notified. Thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Perfect.